Hello all, welcome back to Trinity Software. This is the second tutorial of Python Excel automation. In this video, we are going to see how to add formula and conditional formatting in Excel using Python with OpenPyExcel package. Let's start loading our book using this statement. From OpenPyExcel, I'm importing load underscore workbook. Okay, now we need to load our workbook. WB is equal to load underscore workbook. Mention the path where it is stored d colon slash. The name of the workbook is python underscore book dot xlsx. And we need to open the active sheet using wb dot active. Okay, so let me check this python underscore book. So it contains the table sales underscore data. We have already seen this in the previous tutorial. It contains seven columns. Now let's apply a formula. Let us find out the total sum of the sales and then we can also find out the average sales. So to do that, you can save the total sales. The total sales starts from G2 to G35. So we can save the total sales in G36 and average sales in G37. In a search show G36. Let's find out the sum. Apply this sum formula. Sum of G2 colon G35. This will retrieve the total sum. To find out the average, let me save the average in G37. And find the average of G2 colon G35. Okay. Let's save this now. W.save. Before saving, let me close this Excel file. Let's save d colon slash python underscore book dot Excel six. Now let's check our Excel file. So G thirty six contains the total sales. Applying the formula sum, summing all the values from G two through G thirty five, and this is the average function. We can round this to two decimal digits using round function so a search of g37 equal to then apply round function takes two arguments the first argument is average and the second argument is rounded to two digits okay so it's rounded to two digit now fine now we can apply other formulas let us by taking a representative for example andrews i just want how many times andrews has made the sales okay so in this uh, totally andrews representative appears twice and apart from count you can also find out total sum of the sales performed by a particular representative so we can perform both sum of and count of formulas using open by excel so in i8 let me say the name andrews and then in J8, let's find out the count. And in K8, let's find out the sum. So, a search of I8. Let's store this name and those. Okay. Then, in a search of J8, we are going to apply the function count if. Count if. It takes two mandatory arguments. The first argument is we are going to count from the range where the representative names are present so it should be from c2 to c35 c2 colon c35 and the second argument is the name that should be checked so andrews within double quotes close it this is the count and similarly you can save the sum in k8 and just change the function name sum of sum of the total so it takes three arguments first argument is the range where the representative names appear c2 to c35 and the representative name and those and the last argument is the range where the total sales is given so it is g2 colon g35 okay now let's save this and check the output in i8 we have saved the name Andrews and J8 gives the count of the representative Andrews. It appears twice in this table and sum if 
sum of the sales performed by the representative Andrews. So if you sum up uh, 149.25 and 131.34, we get the sum 280.59. Okay, now let's close this workbook using this function wb.close. Let me open another workbook. Now I am going to apply a formula to the entire column in Excel using this open by Excel. So let me load a different workbook. Load underscore workbook. And d colon slash literacy dot xlsx. Literacy dot xlsx is the Excel file which we have created in the previous tutorial. An active worksheet is equal to wb dot active. So this is the table which we have created. Now the total count that is the count of both male and female can be represented in this column E. So we are going to write the formula for that. Let me use the for loop here to represent the report or in range. So this should be applied from a range from the row number 2 till row number 5. So 2 to 5 plus 1 6. So that it will be executed 4 times. Okay, fine. Now I am just going to use a format function to find the sum of male count and female count. Let me give a search of e dot format or. So that means it is a search of e2 equal to, let's apply the formula now, equals sum of, it should be c2 and d2. So c formatting comma d formatting dot format of representing the row r comma r now oh, i missed this closing bracket here so it should be format of a sheet should be closed here again close the close bracket here okay so formula is applied to the entire column e so wb dot c literacy dot xlxs. Let's uh, find it now in the Excel table. So we got this total count here. So here the sheet of e1 can be set as the total count. Okay, search of e1 total. Now save it again. Yeah, we got this total as the heading. Then let's see how to concatenate two strings let me open a different workbook now close this current workbook workbook dot close load a different workbook load underscore workbook open the active worksheet let's first check what is present in the students details students details dot xlxx so it contains the students details so here to perform string concatenation let me concatenate first name and last name and put it in the third column c as the full name so we need to insert a column here then we can apply the concatenation process here okay in order to insert the column search dot insert underscore calls of three so this statement will insert a column before column three and then you can give a name to that column heading sh of c1 full name now let's save this save it as saved it open so a new column is inserted here before performing stream concatenation let me apply the styling here so the background color should be yellow border should be given and this name should be in bold so we can make all these changes Okay, from open by Excel dot styles import. We need to fill the background color, so we need pattern fill for that. Font and colors. I'm going to fill it with yellow color, so let me give yellow fill using this pattern fill method. It takes three arguments dot color in color and fill type there are various types if you want it to fill it completely you need to use solid value so start underscore color mention the hex code 
so hex code for yellow color is this one and int underscore color you have to mention the same color okay then fill underscore type this should be solid okay now this yellow fill color must be placed in this cell c1 so sh of c1 with the method dot fill equal to yellow fill and then set the font to be bold type so sh of c1 dot font equal to font of setting the bold is equal to true okay now let's save it and check let's open so we need to close this now you can save it so full name background is changed is also made as bold you can uh, make many other changes to the font like font size and underline and you can set italic okay so let me do some modifications so in this font let me give italic equal to true and underline equal to single we need to also set the borders in order to set the borders from open by excel dot styles dot borders let's import border and side we need to set the border in the left right top and bottom so b is equal to border method left equal to side to mention style equal to thin similarly for right top and bottom okay now border is set in the variable b now let's assign this border to the cell row 1 and column 3 so sh dot cell row equal to 1 column equal to 3 dot border set the border equal to b need to save this before that let me close now save it we check so I have made it as an italic and I have also underlined the borders are all set okay fine now we need to concatenate the strings present in a2 and b2 and store it in c2 similarly for all the rows totally there are 501 rows let's find out how many rows are there or is equal to sh dot max underscore row this will give the maximum rows so or it is totally fine out one now let's use a loop for row in range of starting from two till fine out one so you should give or plus one so now we'll apply the formatting in search of c dot format of row that is for a search of c2 we are going to apply the concatenation function equal to concatenate a come on and we have to leave some space between the first name and the last name and b curly brackets close the concatenate function dot format of row comma row fine now let's save and check the output students details you got the full name with the space in between the first name and the last name this is applied for all the 500 rows fine you can also merge cells so here i can merge e f and g together and i can name it as address okay so to do that you have to import alignment from open by excel dot styles import alignment okay use this function sh dot merge underscore cells we are going to merge the cells from e1 colon g1 that is e1 to g1 fine now you have to identify this cell it should be aligned in the center position so this e1 that is that is present in row 1 and column 5 so that is a tent in cell sh dot cell of row is equal to 1 and column equal to 5 okay now we can align this cell cell dot alignment equal to 
alignment or center it horizontally and vertically horizontal equal to center and vertical equal to center fine so we need to save this before saving let me close this save the students details open it again so this address E, F and G are all merged together and address is aligned in the center position both horizontally and vertically. Okay, fine. So that's it about formula. You can also apply conditional formatting. To apply the conditional formatting, let's open the Python book Excel file. So we'll close this one wb.close function. Okay. And to apply the conditional formatting, we need to import cell list rule. So from open by excel dot formatting dot rule import cell is rule now let's load this workbook python underscore book which contains a sales data table so let's retrieve the active worksheet python underscore book now let's apply a simple conditional formatting let's change the color of the cells where the total value is uh, greater than 500 okay so let me fill it with the red color use the pattern filling here red fill go to pattern fill start underscore color hex code for red okay and end underscore color same color and fill underscore type is solid okay so we have defined red fill color sh dot conditional underscore formatting dot add we are going to add the rule now the rule should be added to the cells in the range from g2 to g35 right so g2 colon g35 okay and the second argument is the type of rule so cell is rule it takes four arguments the operator we have to format the cells which are greater than 500 so the operator name is greater than comma and the formula equals this should be mentioned within square bracket the value greater than 500 and stop if two should be set to two and finally the fill option should be set to red fill which we have defined here okay that's it red fill i have used smaller fine okay close this now let's save it here wb.save fine so when you open you have got this conditional formatting all the cells whose values are greater than 500 are alone highlighted with red color okay so that's it for this tutorial in the upcoming tutorials let's see how to create the chart and pivot table in excel using python thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe